I'm the Slash Me Reviewer, and this is my review of. Vanishing on 7th Street is this new horror film by Brad Anderson and it's about this huge blackout that occurs and when the lights finally come on everything's just vanished. It's gone. No trace of it except for one thing. Um, it's just all gone. and But only but a selected few survive. And... You know, and their fight for survival, they are trying to put the pieces together, and they've got to stay in the light because what's after them are what? Killer shadows. Basically, your shadow is what's out to get you, what's out to kill you. You have to beware the shadow. Vanishing on 7th Street, Brad Anderson. Love Brad Anderson. So that was, that was, that was like an, a little bonus points. So. Vanishing on 7th Street, this is not the most compelling Brad Anderson film. I think this would probably be his weakest film to date, but it's still a pretty good and enjoyable film. Now, there are some flaws in this film, and the f biggest flaw is the pacing. Now, it has a great opening scene, and it really grabs your attention, and there's real tension in here and stuff like that. But then as the middle comes, I feel it starts to pull away. And it starts to drag. As, and I was starting to get kind of bored. Yeah, but, and that was... And that's not a good thing. Because, I mean, it had such great tension in the beginning and all that stuff. And then it started to get a little boring. But then it started to pick back up again. And then I started getting happy. And then it gave us an ending, which I felt was kind of a little bit of a letdown. So, this movie's about killer shadows. So, what do you do? You basically, you grab that light source, and the only light source you can trust is the light source that is in your hand. No other. Not the light in the, not the, light in the sky, the air, the room, whatever. You can't trust us because these shadows have got brains. Somewhere in that murky area there lies a brain because they know how to manipulate and use that light to their advantage. And which I find is really cool. And I mean and the the shadows also will can like make shapes and stuff like that. And that's the best thing about this film is the shadows itself. I love the way the shadows look, especially as it closes in on a room and you can see like the hands or some as they just like and then that that was great the CGI top notch I mean honestly they don't even really look like CGI it looks like they look like actual shadows and stuff like that I love that I mean the shadows are the best aspect of this film of course the pacing being the biggest you know downer to it um but and the second one being the ending I just feel like it's a little too Mm, like, I let's stop filming this thing because we've we got really no we've gone nowhere and you know yeah but there is yep so not so great ending a little bit of a pacing issue and like I said before the shadows are awesome they are so cool and I love the way they take these people with them when. You know, these people are being taken one by one by one. I love the way they're taken and what they're left with. How how it's done, it's it's creepy in a way, humorous, but it's entertaining. This is and I mean I sound like I'm praising this film for all of its glory. I'm not this is a film though that will probably be on chiller or sci fi. Definitely be hitting up the televisions and you're gonna see it come on and but this would be like the holy grail of it. You know, one that's actually good to watch. This would be like the holy grail of like one of the good television movies to watch when it hits television. But, you know, it's, you know, lacking in some but gained in others. And that's probably due to Brad Anderson. So, you got, and honestly, if you're going to watch this film, you know, you have to go see this film. And I don't think this is a film to rush out to go see or anything. But if you're going to ignore everything and you're going to go see this film, definitely see it in the dark. 
great tension, great shadows, a little bit of a pacing issue, a little bit of a problem with the ending. Pretty good film. I'm going to give Vanishing on 7th Street a 3.5 out of 5. I'm the Slash Movie Reviewer, and you've just been slashed.